Hello and welcome to another video tutorial at computergargard.com. Today's tutorial will be on using the conditional formatting tool within Microsoft Excel to format the whole row of uh, data that is met criteria within the table. The conditional formatting tool is a very popular tool within Excel, mainly used to bring people's attentions to certain values, those that reach a, a certain amount, those that drop below a certain figure, uh, dates expiring, deadlines being hit, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, now most of the time conditional formatting is used to select the cell, something that, that brings attention to it. We want to look at select or sorry formatting the whole row within our table. So it's a lot more obvious for people to see, uh, especially on uh, wide tables that exceed the, the width you can see on screen at any one time. Now to do this, the first thing we're going to do is select the data that we want to start to apply the formatting tool uh, to. So I'm going to select these range of dates here in that table and come to the conditional formatting tool on the home tab of the ribbon. Now there's a variety of options in here too. Um, some of these in this highlight cell rules area, uh, we'll look at dealing with a, a date. Uh, various options in there, like formatting all those dates within the last seven days, all those dates occurring within the next month, this kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of very useful options. However, there's not the one that we want. We want to know if one of these dates have expired, if one of our members have expired, or memberships have expired. So we're going to go to new rule, so we can uh, create our own. And within here, we're going to go to the option for use a formula to determine which cells to format. Because we want to format the whole row, we're going to need to use a formula. We can't just do maybe the normal option to format only the cells that contain. We need a formula. And a formula we're going to enter. Uh, obviously start with an equals, like all formulas do. We're then going to put in uh, D2 because D2 is the first cell that has uh, a date in it. So you see the dates are in column D, D2 holds the first date. I'm going to put a dollar sign before the column D uh, to fix column D, but leave row 2 relative, so that because I've selected the whole range here, it will apply the format into each row, to each record. And then I'm going to put less than or equals today open parenthesis and a closing parenthesis the today function will find out what today's date is so essentially what I'm doing here is look at cell D2 is the value in D2 less than or equal to today's date if it is then format the cell because it must have expired because row 2 is uh, left absolute that will follow itself through all the way to row 44 and all 43 rows will have this condition tested and then formatted if they meet the condition. Let's choose what formatting we'd like to apply. I'll click on the format button. I like to go for fill colour myself, something nice and obvious jumping out at you, a nice red and just OK my way all the way out. Hopefully if I scroll up my spreadsheet here, you'll see there are what's that, two, three memberships have expired and the whole row is formatted uh, to bring my attention to this. Uh, that's the video tutorial for today. Hope you find it useful. Uh, check out more of our video tutorials and articles at computergargard.com. Alternatively, find us on Facebook for the latest uh, news and tutorials from Computer Gaga.